Now also you can say, hey, after you've had a bunch of threesomes with a, with a couple of them, hey, I want you to meet this other girl, right? Well, I'm, we've been talking to her too. She's cool too. Boom, now you have a foursome. Okay, so you're kind of like mix and ma matching and you all kind of become like, you're like the fucking tribal leader here, okay? You're the, you're the man, you're the alpha dominant man. Um, you're like the, the, con the connector, like you're connecting all these fucking groups. What up, what up, what up? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a video today that will be applicable to almost none of you whatsoever, entitled How to Build a Rotation of Girls Having Threesomes with You, okay? Meaning, how do you have seven to 10 girls that are all fucking each other and yourself included, okay? Different combinations of threesomes and foursomes. And how do you keep building that up and maintaining it and running it. Okay, most of you, not a, as an insult, most of you don't even have a, a regular rotation. This is kind of an advanced level thing, something to aspire to. Okay, P.S. R.I.P. Bradicus. Uh, <laughs> so, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, it all starts off, I don't have much time, so I gotta be quick about this. It all starts off with uh, building a regular rotation first. Okay, let's say you build a rotation of five to 10 girls, whatever. Okay, now you ask each girl, are you bisexual? Okay, let's say you, you need a kind of a big rotation to, to kind of kick this off. Let's say you have 10 regulars. Okay, now you ask, are you, are you bisexual? Maybe half of them are. Okay, let's say five are, are bisexual. Now, you also have like your main chick or your main couple chicks. Okay, now you say, I have a friend that I showed a picture of you to and she thinks you're really pretty. Uh, send me a picture of yourself to show her. Right. So, again, I'm, I'm never asking really, do you want to have a threesome? No, I'm just saying she said she's bisexual. So I'm saying, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. What do you think of her? You send a good picture of your main chick. OK. And then you have the girl send like a good picture of herself. You send your main chick. OK. She thinks you're cute. Now you arrange the meet up. OK. But the important caveat there is that you say, don't worry. There's no sexual ex expectations, no pressure for it's all to hook up. Let's just hang out and see how the chemistry is. OK just like you would with a regular date. So they, you invite them both over. By the way, the fucking barber chopped my sideburns. That motherfucker made it very clear. And he fucking just took them out. See, so yeah, I have this, this nice haircut here. And he fucking ruined my, my beautiful sideburns. So I have to wait a week for those to return. Okay, so <clears throat> what, what, where were we? Uh, Okay, so now you arrange the meetup. Now that you're hanging out, of course, now your chick will start fucking, you know, putting the moves on the other girl at some point after you're both warmed up. We'll start kissing you. You'll have a girl on either side. You're kissing both girls, whatever. It goes down. All right, boom. You bang the chick. Or you bang both chicks, okay? Now what I do, here's like kind of one of the key little insider advanced secrets. I create a group chat on WhatsApp. Okay, I'm in South America. A lot of people use WhatsApp here. You can make a group chat of any sort. Now the, the three girls are in there, the two girls are in there and I'm in there, the three people are in there, okay? Now I send pictures of like me and the main chick that are good, that are nice of us doing different shit. The, the two girls become friends, okay? Also I try to have um, both girls sleep over and then you know we're all sharing the same bed and in the morning they're making breakfast together and like joking around and shit like that. You're basically just having them, the three of you are becoming friends, okay? You can go to the beach together. You can fucking go to a restaurant together. I do, I do different activities with them, okay? Now, you take another girl, bring her with your main chick, okay? You have another threesome, make another group chat. Have another girl with your main chick, make another group chat, okay? Also, like I have like eight group chats right now with these different chicks, okay? Now, also, you can say, hey, after you've had a bunch of threesomes with a, with a couple of them, hey, I want you... To meet this other girl, right? Well, I'm, we've been talking to her too. She's cool too. Boom. Now you have a foursome. Okay. So you're kind of like mix and ma matching and you all kind of become like, you're like the fucking tribal leader here. Okay. You're the, you're the man, you're the alpha dominant man. Um, you're like the, the, con the connector, like you're connecting all these fucking groups. Okay. So now this, that's one piece of it. Okay. So now you, you're mixing and mashing the threesomes and the foursomes. Okay. And you can even like, do them without your main as well. It's just more fun with your main. She's like the point, the point person, like helping you run all this shit. Okay. Now you can also do it with cold approach. 
Okay, you, an add-on. Like we've been doing this as well. You cold approach. Um, I pulled a bunch with that girl with the red hair in my old videos. I don't see her anymore. Um, I cut her off. But the girl with the with the red hair from some of my older videos with threesomes and foursomes game. Um, we are pulling from bars and clubs. Okay, the way you do that, I've talked about in other videos, you have the girl approach. The girl, your girl that's with you, she approaches the stranger, talks, tells her girl she's pretty, a little bit of physicality, dances with her on the dance floor, gets into a makeout, or, or you don't even need to have a dance floor. You can just have, like, you should come and sit with your group. They're flirting a little bit, gets into a makeout. Now, after your girl's made out, then that's when you get introduced, okay? Hey, me and my girl, the way I always say it, me and my girl think you're very sexy. We think you're really sexy. Then you just handle logistics. You're already in because she's a, the, because the girl that's with you approved of you. It's pre-selection. You're with an attractive girl. It bypasses her approval circuits for value. It also disarms all kind of comfort. This video is probably over, way over everyone's head. <laughs> but it disarms comfort and safety objections. Okay, So it's a very easy pull. Hey, we live right here. Okay, we just did this from fucking brunch. We pulled a stunner from brunch right in front of two pickup guys who couldn't believe their eyes. And uh, it was very, very easily. Okay, when they approve of your girl, hey, I live over here. It's only five minutes. Let's go and hang out for a little bit. Boom. Okay. And then, you know, activities ensue, form a group chat. Okay. So you can pick up girls from the bars, from the clubs, and from daytime environments using that strategy I just told you with your girl somewhat doing the heavy lifting, not really, basically just doing the approach and winning the girl over and then you coming in after the fact and arranging logistics. And then that's it. Then you make a fucking group chat. Okay. So, and then last but not least, you can make a joint Tinder and drag in leads that way. Okay. So now keep in mind, you're harvesting existing rotation girls to turn them into, basically it becomes like a threesome rotation. Okay. You invite this girl over to hang out with you and another girl. Okay. So, and you frame it as regulars. Oh, this is really fun. We should do this a lot more. Oh, you guys are really cool. This is really fun. We should do this all the time. So it's not just like this one-off, like, yeah, like, because a lot of girls haven't even tried a threesome. It's not just this one-off, like, oh, yeah, we had a threesome. It was cool. Like, you know, that I always remember this day. It's like, let's do this again in two days. Let's do this again in three days. And you can actively, like, treat it like a regular rotation, but you're hanging out with two chicks. Okay, this, this is something new I've been doing over the past six months. So, and what I mean by that is uh, in terms of like how you should be doing shit with them. Oh, hey guys, let's all go out to dinner. Hey guys, um, I gotta go meet my buddy. Um, one sec. Hey guys, uh, let's go fucking to the, let's go to the beach. Hey guys, let's go like walk around town. You just do whatever shit you would normally do with your one rotation girl. You do it with both. And the girls are like, you know, you guys are like kissing each other in public. Everyone's like, oh my God, what the hell is this? Um, the girls will be like kissing in, in like nice restaurants. Like I brought these girls to like nice Italian restaurants and they're like making out. <laughs> people are like having like a nice dinner and we're in there. Like the girls are kissing and like people are staring and like the girls are like laughing loudly and shit. <clears throat> I don't give a shit. Right? Oh, I give a fuck. And, and then, uh, you know, we'll go to the beach and like the girls are make out on the beach. Actually, I'll tell a quick story, and then I gotta go because I gotta meet my buddy. Uh, this this dude on the beach like saw the girls kissing, and then, like each of the girls kissing me separate, and he was just like, "Oh my god!" And he came over, and he and he was like, "Oh, let me take, I can take pictures for you guys." And he take, took pictures, and he's asking the girls, like, "Can I kiss you guys too?" And I didn't interject it. Like the girls later were like, "Why didn't you like say something?" I was just like, I was kind of because I, I I'm a, a cold approach coach, and I you know. I've approached, I don't, I don't know how many, I have 12,600 phone numbers in my phone. I've probably approached over 20,000 girls and um, not spam approach like a retard, but approach like, like RSD retards, but um, with an actual uh, purpose and skills in my game. Um, actually, it's probably closer to 15,000. I, I do get a number from almost, almost every girl I approach, uh, you know, barring girls that are interested in it or have boyfriends or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, all that being said, you basically want to just keep introducing new girls into the mix and just keep things cool, right? It's the same rules as a regular rotation. Treat them well, but don't be a fucking pussy. 
set boundaries. Like we were having a foursome at one point um, in one of the situations. These were two separate threesomes. United them to a foursome. Well, two, uh, my main chick, two separate threesomes with each of the two girls. And then we united it into a foursome. And I was laying here on my couch. And here, I'll show you guys here. I was laying here on the couch. And uh, the three girls are right in front of me. Okay, they're all on their knees on the, the edge of the couch there. And they're all giving me a blowjob at the same time. Right, so there's three girls, which is fucking interesting sensation if you ever have the chance to try that out. They're all fucking licking your balls and dick. Three different hot Brazilian girls. And then I said, who wants to fucking jump on top first? And the young one, the 18-year-old, said, um, let's play rock, paper, scissors. And then this other one with big fake tits was like, oh, I already fucked him earlier today. I'm not fighting over him, blah, 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 blah. And was like kind of being cunty and kind of continued that behavior over the next hour. So I kicked her out and said, and she's like, oh, like, you know, if I leave, I'm not going to talk to you ever. I'm like, that's fine. See you later. And uh, so, you know, and the other one, you know, there's still plenty of others. They're like the redhead from the videos. Like her and I had like six or seven regulars for threesomes. And, um, you know, she fucking, I caught her lying to me and cut her off as well. Anyways, I'm just about at time. Uh, hope this was informative and probably not even somewhat useful to almost anyone watching because... Most guys have yet to have it. I'm not making fun, but this is just like a, another, another level now. I'm on another level now, which is making it 10 times more frustrating when I see coaches with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Coaches. <clears throat> and I know for a fact uh, most of them haven't even hit 100 lay count yet. Uh, some coaches out there haven't even hit 10 lay count yet. Okay, so <clears throat> there's that. Okay. The, earlier this year, if you guys follow my channel this year, I did 18 girls in three days in a weekend. That was a personal record. You know, no one's doing shit like this, but I, whatever. I was doing a lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff like this since like 2012 on the forums and, and this and that. But I will shout out my mentorship. If you want to get fucking really, 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 really good at this, click the link in the description. I will give you a life of your dating dreams in the first month. I promise you that. Okay, you'll, the results will be far beyond anything you've ever dreamed of. That's what keeps happening over and over. And these guys are all saying this is every fucking client. Oh, I wish I found this way back. Oh, I wish I hadn't wasted time with this. Oh, my God, I spent so much time and money and effort and blah, blah, blah. And then you fix this in like two days. That's how it works. So let me know when you're ready. I will be waiting. Okay. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum